Hi, I'm Rishabh. I'm a PhD candidate at UC Berkeley. Uh, and I'm going to tell you today about Visor, which is a system for privacy preserving video analytics in the cloud. And this is joint work between UC Berkeley and Microsoft Research. So the success of machine learning has led to the emergence of a new class of services that marry it with the benefits of cloud computing. And video analytics is a key application for such services. For example, Consider a home security service that sends an alert to the customer's mobile phone whenever it detects movement at the front door. Or consider a traffic monitoring application that automatically changes the traffic lights based on the number of cars at the traffic intersection. The typical architecture for such video analytic services is as follows. The client source, which could be a camera, transmits the video stream to the service running in the cloud, where the stream is first optionally pre-processed on the CPU. While one could process the video directly on the GPU as well, pre-processing on the CPU essentially acts as a cheap filter that prevents the wastage of GPU cycles by discarding irrelevant content. In fact, researchers have shown that such pre-processing can improve performance by up to 17 times. And here's an example of such a pipeline. The video stream is first decoded into a sequence of raw frames. The frames are then individually processed to identify only the relevant moving objects in the foreground. The object's bounding boxes are detected, and only these objects are then cropped out and sent to the GPU to be processed by the machine learning model. The results of the model's processing are then returned to the CPU, where they can be used to power the application of choice. The problem in the setting, of course, is privacy. Video streams contain a lot of sensitive content, and we want to preserve their privacy from malicious attackers at the cloud service. Now, while there hasn't directly been work targeting video analytics, a variety of solutions have been proposed for machine learning inference. And existing solutions to this problem typically fall into one of two categories. The first category is to use a specialized cryptographic protocol for executing the pipeline, such as multi-party computation or homomorphic encryption. And while cryptographic protocols give you very nice security properties, the problem is that they have high overhead, and they cannot sustain the incoming frame rate in video streams. The second category of solutions is based on the use of hardware enclaves, such as Intel SGX. These solutions are designed for CPU enclaves, and therefore once again cannot sustain the frame rate without the use of GPUs. But a bigger problem is that enclaves are known to be vulnerable to side channel attacks, and in particular, they leak the application's memory access patterns, which is the fundamental reason behind a very large class of known attacks on enclaves, from cache timing to branch prediction to page-based attacks. And I will illustrate shortly how devastating this leakage can be for video analytics pipelines. But this brings us to our work, Visor. Visor makes two key contributions. Our first contribution is a privacy-preserving framework for machine learning services. This framework combines recent advances in GPU enclave technology with CPU enclaves, unifying them into a single trust domain, which we call a hybrid enclave. Within this framework, we design and implement algorithms for video analytics that are data oblivious, which means that they prevent the leakage of information via memory access patterns by design. Our algorithms are efficient and orders of magnitude faster than alternative solutions for achieving the same property. And we also note that at a high level, this overall paradigm can be used to power other machine learning applications as well, beyond just video analytics. I will now provide an overview of both these contributions one by one. The starting point for Visor is to run the CPU components of the service pipeline within a CPU enclave at the cloud, such as Intel SGX. And the client establishes a secure channel of communication with the enclave during remote attestation. Next, we run the GPU-based computation within a GPU enclave at the cloud. And in particular, we use the recent Graviton enclave proposed by Microsoft Research um, at OSDI in 2018. Graviton provides properties similar to SGX, enabling software on the GPU to be isolated from other GPU software, as well as privileged software on the host. Crucially, we run the GPU runtime within the CPU enclave that allows us to combine the two enclaves into a unified trust domain. In the context of video analytics, this means that we run the pre-processing modules within SGX and the CNN model within Graviton on the GPU. However, 
Simply using a hybrid enclave is not enough for privacy. And we also need to systematically address the various sources of side channel leakage throughout the pipeline. I will not have time to dive into a lot of details, but I will describe the sources of leakage and how we address them briefly. The first class of leakage stems from the communication channels in the pipeline, the client to enclave communication over the network, as well as the CPU GPU communication channel. Even though all the data flowing through these channels is encrypted, researchers have shown how an adversary monitoring the traffic pattern can identify crucial information about the underlying video stream, such as spikes in the uh, activity in the video streams or the number and sizes of objects per frame. To plug these leakage sources, we devise data oblivious communication protocols that intelligently pad the channels with dummy traffic but in a way that optimizes the performance of the overall pipeline. For example, we devise a data oblivious producer-consumer queue protocol for communication between the CPU and GPU that is designed to minimize GPU consumption. And at a high level, this protocol works as follows. For each frame in the video, the CPU pushes N1 objects into the queue, some of which may be dummies. In this illustration, for example, the real objects are in blue and the dummies are in gray. The queue is then obliviously sorted so as to push the non-dummy objects to the tail of the queue. And the GPU then consumes N2 objects, where N2 is less than N1, from the tail of the queue. The process repeats. For the next frame, the CPU once again pushes in N1 objects, potentially overwriting existing objects at the head of the queue. But the overwritten objects are dummies with a very high probability. Next, the queue is sorted as before and the GPU consumes N2 objects from the tail. In the paper, we provide a more detailed analysis of the protocol and its implementation. The next class of leakage that we tackle is memory access pattern leakage from the enclaves. That is, even though the adversary cannot directly see the contents of the enclave, it can observe the sequence of memory addresses accessed during the program's execution. And to prevent this leakage, we provide a suite of primitives that enable the development of data oblivious modules of the CPU that provably prevent access pattern leakage by design, as well as an oblivious CNN implementation on the GPU. Which brings us to our second key contribution, and I will now give you a glimpse of how we design these oblivious algorithms for video analytics. But before that, to illustrate how devastating memory access pattern leakage can be for video analytics, let's take the example of the bounding box detection module. The original algorithm works as follows. It first detects a white pixel in the image and then follows the object's border by examining the pixel's neighbors. And it does so until all the different objects in the frame are identified. As a result, even though the attacker can't directly see the contents of the frame, just by monitoring the addresses of these access pixels, the attacker can reconstruct the shapes and positions of all the objects in the video stream, which effectively is the entire contents. To make this algorithm free of access pattern leakage, our aim is to transform it into a pattern that performs the same operations on each pixel in the frame, regardless of its value. As a consequence of which, no matter what the value of the pixels are, the memory access patterns of the algorithm remain the same. And to apply this design pattern efficiently to our algorithms, we devise a general strategy based on the structure of the vision modules. And I will illustrate the strategy at a high level using the bounding box detection algorithm while glossing over some of the finer details. The first step in the strategy is to transform each algorithm into a structure that scans the image while identically processing each pixel. For bounding box detection, this, we apply this step by assigning a label to each pixel during the scan. And this assignment of the label is based on the label value of the pixel's neighbors. Then we make a second pass to identify labels that are connected to each other. The second step in the strategy is to use a divide and conquer approach to further improve the performance of the scan-based formulation. And in this case, we divide the image into strips. We first identify the boxes in each strip separately in parallel, and then reconcile the boxes at the boundaries of the strips. Finally, 
identical pixel processing naturally lends itself to optimization strategies that enable batched computation over pixels. For example, by the use of vectorized SIMD instructions, which allow us to process several pixels at once. This high-level strategy enables us to improve performance by several orders of magnitude compared to alternate approaches. In the paper, we also describe in detail how we apply this strategy to the other modules in the video analytics pipeline. The extended version of our paper also contains formal proofs of security for each of our algorithms. A quick summary of Visor's performance. We evaluated Visor on a six-core Intel machine and an NVIDIA GPU with support for SGX and Graviton enclaves. In our experiment, we used four real-world high-definition video streams that contain sensitive information and two different video analytics pipelines. The pipelines are generic and include an object detector CNN as well, and not just the classification CNN that I illustrated earlier. We found that our hybrid enclave architecture imposed an overhead of up to eight times, primarily due to the limited enclave memory in existing SGX machines, which is 93.5 megabytes. When the pipeline's memory footprint fits within the enclave memory, the overhead dropped to 1.1x. And to measure this aspect, we decreased the video's resolution and repeated the experiment, as seen on the right. On top of this, the additional overhead of our oblivious algorithms is only 2.5x, which highlights the usefulness of our design strategy. And in the paper, we show how Visa outperforms alternative solutions by over six orders of magnitude for achieving data obliviousness. So, in summary, Visa makes two key contributions. We present a privacy-preserving framework for CNN-based machine learning applications that span both the CPU and the GPU, and we present novel oblivious algorithms for video analytics that are also efficient. Thank you for listening, and now I'm happy to take questions, if any.